Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's MGoBlue97 here. And as I said in my last video, I am a huge fan of the Michigan Wolverines and have been my entire life. And now I kind of want to discuss the Michigan State Spartans and their game versus BYU yesterday. I mean, that game was just atro atrocious for the Spartan offense. I mean... Sparty, sir, I mean the Spartan fans sure as heck aren't seeing th uh, what they're this anything this season compared to what they did last year. I mean everything's just going downhill and getting worse and worse week after week after week. I mean not only are they two and three overall, but they're zero and two in the Big Ten, and they just lost to Indiana last weekend, which is the first time they've lost to that team in ten years, and Mark D'Antonio's first time ever losing to that program, and his entire career coaching the Spartans and I mean my prayers do go out to the Hicks family and just the entire Spartan team in general because and every and especially everyone who knew them because they lost a play of a, a player who just graduated or was on the team a couple of years ago by the name of Mylon Hicks he was shot in a club up in uh, Canada because he's playing in the CFL right now and I mean, BYU gave them flowers yesterday, which I thought was a pretty cl before the game, which I thought was a pretty classy move on their part. And I mean, I don't know if this is what's you know affecting their play because if it is, I mean that's no excuse. And I mean, they, I mean Michigan State, I mean this, the entire first half was basically like an NFL game. I mean. The defenses were just constantly stopping the offenses, and both sides were constantly going three and out or getting maybe one first down at the most. I mean, it wasn't much, but then, I mean, in the second half, BYU really put their foot on the gas pedal, and they scored a touchdown in the third quarter, and then the next quarter, I mean, it was just all Cougars. I mean, they just went all out, and I mean, they, they scored 21 points, three touchdowns, and... <laughs> I mean, they scored twice as many points in the fourth quarter than they had in the entire game before that. So, yeah, I mean, Sparty really needs to pull themselves together because from the way things are looking right now, I mean, they'll be lucky if they even get to a bowl game. I mean, it's still early in the season. They still have plenty of time for improvement. And, I mean, I'm hoping that they don't make that. I'm hoping they don't improve too much because I don't want to see them beat Michigan, but... I mean, still. And personally, being a Wolverines fan, regardless of how bad Sparty is, I still don't think beating them is ever going to be a chip shot, especially considering the fact that we're playing them in East Lansing. And it's been nine years since we've beaten them in East Lansing, so that's going to make it even more difficult. But, yeah, things just did not look good. I mean, the quarterbacks that we're in, I mean, Michigan State's quarterback issue is just an abject disaster and... They just don't really seem anyone who can, seem to have anyone who can get the job done because D'Antonio put in Damian Terry yesterday in place of Tyler O'Connor and he still kind of shit the bed too. So I mean, that whole quarterback decision for Mark D'Antonio is not going to be easy next week on who he starts there. So I mean, I'm just hoping that you know the Wolverines can somehow ma can manage to beat them this year because they should. From the way things are going for them and Sparty and I mean my prayers do still go out to the Spartan community and the Hicks family so yeah go blue and thanks again